Grimalda was hungry and in the mood for her favourite meal, pizza. Mervyn concurred and asked Malda, Do you have an Italian visa? A visa, Malda said. What on earth for? If you want proper pizza, let me show you what's in store. If you want to eat the world's favourite fast food, let me take you on a guided tour and you'll quickly change your attitude. Pack your bags and fuel up your plane. Let's head to Italy for the pizza adventure that will blow your brain. Melda made plans for while she was away, packed her bags and fetched the plane. Mervyn and Melda took to the sky, flew over oceans and waved at Wilmot whales swimming by. The two friends were off to an Italian city called Naples, where pizza as we know it was born and became a staple. Mervyn told Melda that in the 1700s, many people lived in Naples who didn't have a lot of money to buy fancy food for their tables. From a street vendor, they would eat flat bread, topped with tomatoes, cheese, and sometimes anchovies with a bit of oil, giving them the energy to continue with their hard toil. Long, long ago, in 1889, King Umberto and Queen Margarita visited Naples to visit some friends. The Queen wanted something local to eat and ordered a pizza with tomato, mozzarella, and bright green basil, so very on trend. The colours on the pizza were the same as the Italian flag. She loved it so much that she took some home in her bag. As Queen Margarita was the influencer of the day, everyone suddenly wanted a pizza from Naples on their dinner tray. The pizza went viral, and to thank the Queen, Naples called a pizza with tomato, mozzarella and basil a margarita, as it hit the famous scene. Melda and Mervyn landed in Naples. They grabbed their case and headed towards the inner city at quite a pace. They wanted to check into their hotel and find the closest pizzeria in haste. A little later, they found themselves at a small table with hot, fragrant pizza smelling so good it made Melda unstable. The plump sweet tomatoes from San Marzano, the pillowy soft mozzarella de buffalo from Campania. Melda took a bite into the warm, gooey, cheesy goodness, the juices running down her whiskers. This was heaven for sure, such a delight she could not ignore. When Melda and Mervyn left, they bid the pizziola goodbye. Thanks for making us the most delicious pizza we have ever tried. They flew back home with smiles on their face. Thank you so much, Mervyn. This is the best history and food lesson I've had to date.